G'day, welcome back to the channel. No flying video this weekend, I'm afraid, because there was no flying. The weather is crap. <laughs> Here in the in the South Pacific, we have a thing called the Southern Oscillation, and it's a it's changing temperatures of the surface water of the uh, of the sea. And what we've had now is something called La Nina, which means that we have a very very warm Pacific Ocean out there. And that encourages winds to blow towards this country from the east. That brings moist air from the east, which then collides with colder air from the Southern Ocean. And we get a lot of rain, a lot of precipitation, you know, hot and cold, and the water condenses, falls as rain. And we also get a lot of easterly winds and northeasterly winds, which are direct crosswinds on our runway. So it makes flying a little less pleasant than it should be. We know it's summer because that rain is warmer, but it's still a lot of rain. So there was no flying on the weekend. I'm terribly sorry. And so I still have to pay the bills. I have to make videos. What can I make a video about to pay the bills? This Well, let's have a look at this. I'm going to tell you what I do. Every morning I fall out of bed at about four or five o'clock in the morning, depending on, you know, how much I've had to drink the night before. And I have a shower, I have my breakfast, sit in front of my computer and I go to YouTube and I type in RC Plane. RC Plane, because I want to see what other people are uploading. And also I find this content entertaining sometimes. So I do RC Plane and this is what I get. Here we go. Um, now I've got some filters in here. I've got it by relevance. I've got video and I've got today. So I'm looking for all the videos that have been uploaded today that have the word RC Airplanes or RC Plane in them, right? And it's, sometimes it's really interesting to see what's going on. Let's take a look for this. at this, for example. We have this video, which has had nearly 400,000 views in just 23 hours. Now, that's pretty exceptional. So you might think, whoa, how did they do that? Because the the next one down here is 6.2 K, and even the RC Sailors, who are a very popular channel, great stuff. And there's a lady, there's a young lady in it, so that obviously attracts views. Um, they've only got five and a half thousand views in pretty much the same time from their video. And I mean, this thumbnail looks pretty damn good. And But they've got a fraction, tiny fraction of the number of views that this video's got. So what is it that has made this video so popular? It doesn't, even this bit doesn't look that particularly interesting. Just three guys in a fixed wing airplane. So I had a look and it's because it's these people, the Dangy Brothers. Apparently the Dangy Brothers, nearly five million subscribers. So obviously they do a lot of stuff that appeals to an audience and they're not interested in model aircraft so much they just do a wide variety of videos look at this you know all the stuff that, that young people want to watch and maybe older people i don't know how to break out of an unbreakable box oh look at that woo this is the stuff that youtube is made of this is the and don't push the wrong mystery button these clickbaity things that you know attract huge numbers of subscribers and views hey it's the bread and butter of YouTube and, and they have decided to make a video involving RC planes and I think that's great. I think this is brilliant because it is going to introduce many of their four million subscribe five million subscribers to the hobby. That can't be a bad thing. Some of them will look at this and go, hey, this is really good. I would like to do what these guys have been doing with model airplanes. Let's get into the hobby. Brilliant. I think this is fantastic. I really enjoy it when I see people outside the hobby making videos about the hobby that are entertaining and exciting and attract views. Fantastic. I'm certainly in favor of that. Now, um, this is the more traditional model uh, video, though. These, these people have got a good... How, much, how many subscribers do they have? Let's have a look. Let's open up their channel page. They must have a couple of hundred thousand subs by now, maybe more. Yeah, nearly 300,000 subscribers for the RC Sailors. A very popular channel, but if you look at it, I mean... 5.5 thousand views, 12,000, 11,000, 13,000. These are the kind of views you get. I mean, I get this kind of viewership as well. This is the number of views you get when you make videos about model aircraft. It's not a lot. It really is not a lot. And that's the problem. Um, people making content on this subject, really hard to make ends meet. If you're a full-time YouTuber, it's pretty damn difficult. I know, I was watching uh, Ian from Mads Tech this morning, and he's saying, you know, he has to change things because he, he would like to do more on YouTube, but can't afford to because there's just no money in it. And it's true. Um, I'm not going to grizzle about it. I've had my grizzles before. I mean, I'm lucky. I've got Patreon supporters. They make it possible. But and I guess these people do too. And most of the YouTubers have affiliate links. So they they don't rely on YouTube for their revenues just as damn well, because otherwise you just you couldn't do it. Um, but I'm going to talk a bit more about the kind of results we're seeing here, because there's some really um, important things that you get from this page. Now, the next video here, 5.1 thousand views is a short. And I hate shorts with a passion. I really do. I wear them in summer, but I mean, short videos, I, I just don't like them because it, there's a lot of dross. There's a lot of, I mean, I don't really want to watch a 16 second video. It's just not worth my time to watch a 16 second video. Um, and what are we going to learn from this? Probably not a lot. And then things like this, what's this? this is a 22 second video. Someone's got a little plane. I've, 
you know, okay, it's it's not worth the investment to me anyway. Um, and a lot of these things are repurposed from TikTok and they're not, you know, I like YouTube to be an entertaining medium and an, an educational medium. Um, these shorts don't usually offer much in the way of that. And look how many there are. Look at all the damn shorts. They just pollute the results. And pretty soon we're down to no views. Um, and this one here, 24. This looks like a good video. I haven't watched it. The Long Valley Club SYV. I mean, look at this. It's got all you want. It's got model aircraft and it's even got some bad landings hey i mean everyone loves bad landings and they're flying amongst trees this, this has got the potential to be a good video just looking at the thumbnail and looking at the little preview that youtube gives you why has it only got 24 views in 22 hours it's because nobody gives a damn about this hobby when they're watching youtube and that's just it um obviously this channel probably doesn't have much in the way of subscribers let's take a look what do we say? Yeah, 207 subscribers, right? So that's the problem. That's the problem. Um, when you look at RC Sailors, they've got 293,000 subscribers, which is why they managed to get some decent views. But when you've only got 207 subscribers, you don't get many views because YouTube is not going to go and promote this stuff. These views we see here are primarily from subscribers, which is why even good videos get very few views if you don't have a lot of subs. It's very hard for new channels to break into the, into the YouTube arena because without the subs, you don't get the views. And without the views... You don't get the subs. It's a catch-22. I was lucky that I got into this many years ago when, you know, anything you posted on YouTube was watched because it wasn't a lot of stuff on YouTube. So I managed to build my subscriber base early. If I was starting again now, I don't think I would get anywhere near as many subscribers as I have. Um, I just, the timing was critical. But let's carry on down here. Um, we've got, again, 10 views, 70 views, 2 views, 1 view three views there's a lot of stuff even this you know rc jet engine run up 14 views people just aren't interested people just are not interested unless you've got the subscriber base to draw in and notify people you've put content up youtube is not going to promote your video for you unless you've got millions of subscribers so yeah pretty much stuff i mean look at this a lovely this is a lovely uh thumbnail here and some couple of guys unboxing a spitfire what's not to like but 11 views in 19 hours and then we have something else that's going on here which is really really annoying and youtube is really annoying because getting to the bottom of the um of the listing is difficult i'll cut this bit out let's cut straight to the bottom of the listing of results okay now we get down to stuff There's a lot of stuff comes out of india we've got these people doing their little shorts and things and how to build helicopters out of lollipop sticks and so forth and then you know 100 rupees a thousand rupees to bank a plane look at this you know um no views 14 hours no views oh it must be so dis disheartening for people doing this but then we come down here and what the hell's going on here lisa short why would i waste a single click watching lisa do something for 11 seconds in a short i'm sorry lisa i don't care and you know what these are these these this is terrible this is terrible stuff this is just spam it's commercial spam and look but look at the tags rc plane radio controlled car rc adventures remote control um, they've mis tagged these videos to get people to click on them as well get at least get them to show up in the results now i had a look at one of these <laughs> not that i was interested in what it looked like but let's have a look at um this woman here look at this what do you think this video is all about let's take a look i'll click on it and we'll have a look I'm not going to watch it because I'm not going to waste my time. But look, do you want to see my private photos? Read the first comment. And of course, it's just a piece of spam. Mind you, it might have disappeared because I actually flagged it as spam. No, it's still there. I flagged this as commercial spam, right? And it's still there. YouTube doesn't care. It does not care. My photos are here. Find me. Nickname Moon21. There you go after this site where you, they have all these girly video up why why am i even exposed to this why do i even get to see this first of all some might say it's age inappropriate for younger people who might be interested in looking for rc planes as a as a hobby and they get this kind of crap thrown at them youtube will condemn you so quickly if you put any inappropriate content up if i put up a, a video which which might have had a, a child in it oh my video will get flagged because it's you know you should be in youtube for kids and you can't have comments and you can't monetize and but these people youtube is able to use its content id match to to find if you use the tiniest piece of copyrighted content or in any way your stuff is might be inappropriate for advertisers no worries but when it comes to actually policing their content for this kind of crap they just don't do it and all these spammy contents everyone that puts videos up now knows that you get a spam content um, you, these little spam links appear on a video within seconds of you uploading it in the comments you get the spam links YouTube seems unable to stop that despite their fantastic AI which will stop everything that's good it can't do anything about the stuff that's bad I just I despair I despair so yeah um 
that's what I do in the morning. I sit here and I grumble at YouTube. <laughs> and of course, one has no option but to use it because there aren't any real options. Odyssey, yes, but it buffers and it's a limited resolution and it's no better in terms of its search results and it's full of, you know, conspiracy nuts and things. It's, you know, oh, what do you do? But um, yeah, so um, I probably do another video. I've been thinking of doing a video now. Uh, Ian from Mads Tech did a good video this morning. He's sitting in a position where he needs to make a decision. Is he going to spend more money on his YouTube channel and do more reviews or is he going to um do something else he doesn't know even it's fair enough it's because there's there's no money let's go back to the top here if i can here we go now the dangy brothers probably may have, will have probably made you know a lot of money out of this. made a couple of grand out of this video probably um one would think looking at these figures here that's good that's for for an effort to make a video that is eight minutes long a couple of grand that's a good return on your money that's a really good return but the rc sailors they won't have made much money because they've got five and a half thousand views and they're probably going to get the same CPM I get, which is about two dollars. This time of the year it might be four dollars. Let's say it's three dollars. So three times five thousand, that's fifteen dollars. They're gonna have fifteen dollars for this video, and it's a 20-minute long video. So they've spent a lot of effort making a 20-minute long video. So far they've earned probably 15 bucks. And the Dangy brothers had a whole lot of fun, made this video eight minutes, and they probably earned two grand. <laughs> I don't know. How does that work? How does that really work? I do not know. Um, but that's the way it is. That's the way YouTube's money works. You can't rely on YouTube's money these days. It's terrible. Um, and that's why people, content creators, probably RC sailors, probably have affiliate. I don't know if they have affiliate links. They probably do. That'd be silly if they didn't. Let's have a look. Um, let's go down to the... Uh, uh, let's stop the ad. Um, do they have affiliate? Yes, here we go. Affiliate links. So they make their money from affiliate links. They're not reliant on, on YouTube's... Um, on YouTube's poultry payout. I am, unfortunately, poultry payout and, and uh, Patreon supporters. So it, I have to work a whole lot harder and rely on people's kind generosity. But the RC sailors, have they been forced, like most content creators, into basically, you know, becoming a shop dwarf for the products that they showcase? I won't say review, they showcase products. And then and, and people go and buy the products, they earn a bit of money. I've got nothing, nothing, no complaints about that whatsoever. It's a business model that's been forced on many people by YouTube. But it's unfortunate that it does, you know, people have to resort to that. Really a shame. And in fact, they should be getting, you know, paid reasonable money for their efforts. But it doesn't work that way anymore on YouTube. That's it. That's my morning video. That's my gripe, my grizzle, my complaints. What a wizened old man I've turned out to be. But hey, I'm still here. So it can't be too bad, can it? That's it. So go down to the comedy bit. Tell me how much you dislike this video because if you click on the down button, you'll never know because they took that away as well. The ability to tell how many people disliked the video. In fact, what I'm going to do just for your benefit, I'm going to put a pinned comment in the comment section. And if you didn't like this video, you give that video a thumbs up. And then the number of thumbs up on that content will be equal to the number of thumbs down that I would have got and you could have seen Otherwise, because I think people need to know when I make a crap video like this one. <laughs> there you go. I've wasted so much of your time. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for allowing me to waste other people's time. And no mid-rolls though. You didn't get a mid-roll. Be, be thankful for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have other content planned for this week, so stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be a whole lot better. Bye for now.